Now to the absolutely terrifying moments for a family in Southeast Houston when police say a man broke into their house in the middle of the night and tried to attack their 11-year-old girl inside. Today, we learn more about what happened. Our senior reporter, Phil Archer, joining us live in Southeast Houston with the latest on this. Phil? Yeah, and just for a minute, try to imagine that scenario. You're awakened by screams in the night to find a stranger attacking one of your children, someone who just broken into the house. It is the stuff of TV dramas. It rarely happens in real life, but it did happen to a family here in Southeast Houston earlier this week. The intruder, according to police, was 35-year-old Marvin Diaz. Just before dawn Monday, he allegedly broke into a home in the 5700 block of Laurel Creek Way, coming in through a side window. He found an 11-year-old girl sleeping on the living room couch and, according to prosecutors, grabbed her, carried her into a bedroom, and began trying to pull off her clothes. Through her own devices, she was able to escape and began screaming, and it brought thankfully the whole family the girl's father and her 14 year old brother confronted Diaz and held him for police her father threatening him with a baseball bat until they arrived Diaz has a history of petty criminal offenses but nothing to suggest he might target a child and most sexual assaults are committed by friends relatives or acquaintances of the victim rarely by total strangers when you have a true stranger breaking into a home and, and trying to attack a, a little one it it's cause for every parent and every citizen of this community to, to really be terrified. In this case, fortunately, the little girl wasn't hurt. Her parents, who asked not to be identified, told us today that she seems to be doing okay. As for Diaz, he's being held on $150,000 bond. He's charged with burglary with intent to commit a felony. That itself is a first-degree felony, and it carries a punishment of up to 99 years in prison. And that's what prosecutors say they're going to ask for when this case goes to court. Reporting live in Southeast Houston, I'm Phil Archer, KPRC Channel 2 News.